Greetings, this is Calcat the Calcatster, and you're watching the Oscar Night Recap. Calcatster. I wasn't going to do this, but a couple of movies won that I uh, didn't mind winning. Um, Oscar Night Recap. Real brief one here. Um, most of them did not. Of course, I haven't been to the Oscars, but I have been to the out front of uh, the Star Walk in the Grumman's Chinese Theater when I was 18. And then when I was 21, so I have been down there a few times. Uh, they did a live thing where they brought the Oscars into the show, into the, the current TJ Theater, I think is what they call it now. Um, uh, and they got to bring the Oscars in there live with some of the actors, and apparently they were across the street, or they filmed the segment earlier. Um, yeah, so... Although the biggest news of the uh, Mark Cards was the trying the McDonald's Szechuan sauce, but it was probably all staged. That was that had nothing to do with it, but it was staged by McDonald's, and they made a deal with the uh, the other people, the uh, Mark Doc and Rick and Morty. So anyway, here we have um, the Oscars hosted by Fallon, and yeah, usually I don't go into the. I'm not sure why I don't see any of this up here. Okay, the so Oscars. See all the Oscar stuff. Red carpety Oscar stuff. The Oscar highlights complete winners list. Okay. Three billboards, one for supporting actor. Three billboards. Um, later in the evening, three billboards, one again for best actress. McDermott. Um, let's see. Supporting actress, yes. Uh, let's see. I uh, did not see that movie, incidentally. And... It looks like Darkest Hour, one for makeup. Darkest Hour, one for makeup. Um, costume design went to Phantom Thread. Documentary feature went to Icarus, which I didn't see. Dunkirk actually won something, won sound editing. Um, okay. Dunkirk also won sound, sound editing, sound production. Uh, Shape of Water won production design. That's the one with the sea monster. Uh, foreign language film went to A Fantastic Woman. Supporting actress went to Allison Janey for I, Tonya, I, Tanya, Tanya Harding story, which is another reason why we couldn't use that Tanya Harding joke character in the current fictional adventures, Silly Trek stories. They, uh, they had a new Oscar movie, and everybody would think it was copying the movie, so that character had to go. Um, let's see. Uh, um, let's see what we got. Uh, animated feature film went to Coco, Pixar Disney movie, Coco. Uh, visual effects went to Blade Runner 2049. Um, film editing went to Dunkirk. Heaven is a Traffic Jam on the 405. Uh, documentary short film won for documentary short film. I saw that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Silent Child uh, was a winner for short film. Actress. Um, uh, what is that? Uh, cinematography went again to Blade Runner 2049. 
because it was a very pretty movie. Uh, music went to The Shape of Water. Original score. So I kind of like that other song from the Best Showman. Uh, uh, let's see. Music, original song, went to Remember Me from Coco. Um, director, director, uh, yeah, went to The Shape of Water. So it looked like Shape of Water was going to win. Um, everything. Uh, let's see. Uh, but, surprisingly enough, uh, actor in the leading role went to Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour. Uh, he acted the, he acted the tar out of that movie. Um, let's see. Then, and best Picture went to The Shape of Water. An upset for the others, and uh, that was one of the ones we called. So, Shape of Water and Blade Runner. Uh... Yeah, surprising Oscar night. We had we had uh, we had Shape of Water, which is a fantasy horror movie with some dramatic comedy elements. A fantasy horror movie. It has been a while since that has won an Oscar. Uh, the last memorable one was Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. Um, <laughs> long time ago, uh, and uh, that so that. <laughs> Uh, there may have been there may have been a few others which would be considered dramatic or thriller type of things. Crash, probably, but it shouldn't have got nominated. Really, uh, uh, Brokeback Mountain and another sort of dreary drama kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, they like the dreary dramas, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I understand that everybody kind of deserved what they what they got for their acting talent. And a Lifetime Achievement Award was, was deserved and stuff like that. I didn't, I didn't get that from this thing. Who was the Lifetime Achievement Award? Who's he news? Who's... Yeah, Mirren or something. Oh, Mirren. Anyway, so, yeah, um... Yeah, so let's Oscar recap. Uh, the elaborate show was. I liked how they went over to the theater and the uh, stars hung out with the people watching a the movie. They're watching a preview of. of a movie. Um, that was cool. Uh, I forget what the movie was, but they were watching it. Um, the Fallon made the joke about Matt Damon that she always does on his show. Uh, they, they have a, a running gag going on. Not how they, they want to snub each other. Um, uh, so they remember this Matt Damon. He uh, was left out uh, for time. Um, yeah. It was cool. So I watched it in two different places here at this uh, house and then at the other sister's house. Uh, there was a lot of commentary at the other house and there was a lot of uh, questions about when, when did I go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame or whatever. No, I was a teenager, and then I was a little older, so, yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, I got to see The Walk of Fame, and, and of course, I, I got to see William Shatner star. <laughs> Back in the day, uh, uh, um, I don't think we got to see Nimoy's, I don't think it was there yet, but the Shatner, the star. Uh, if we ever, if uh, Mark's cards and I ever go back, uh, we'll have to... Uh, at some point, we'll have to see, you know, the whole thing. Go to the Walk of Fame and see that downtown stuff. Um, yeah, so that was the Oscar thing. We weren't there tonight. I'm just we're just talking about stuff that happened in the past. I've never been to the Oscars. And if I ever do end up at the Oscars, I'll have to thank everybody on the planet. Um, <laughs> but uh, or one of my documentary films or something. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's let's submit a. Yeah. A lot of these movies this year were actually like done on uh, Cannes films, which got larger distribution later. So a lot of these movies, like in December, there were like ten of them. Ten of the ones nominated were like, oh, oh no, we don't have enough movies, so we're gonna grab like five or six of these and put them in wide release, and then they'll be popular enough to get the vote. That's what happened this year. So we had a lot of movies that were like. 
well, why is this movie even there? Uh, Get Out, for instance. Apparently it's a good movie, but it uh, has elements of it that are just bizarre and comedic and stuff. And it's like, why? Uh, there's the Billboards movie, which is just depressing. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. Uh, there's some... Um, yeah, there's a there was a, a sort of a gay drama uh, that got a lot of uh, nods but didn't get it. Uh, uh, Call me by my name, the name of it. Uh, 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 stuff like that. I'm sure it's a fine movie, but uh, but uh, it didn't ever play over here. Uh, uh, Shape of Water almost didn't play here either. Uh, it was it was in theaters over here for about ten days. <laughs> I happened to see it. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so. Uh, so I did uh, call the director, uh, and uh, even though I hadn't seen the movie, uh, <laughs> and I called the, uh, uh, yeah, well, I had seen the director, Del Toro, yes. I had seen, oh no, but then I saw the movie. <laughs> and then and then, uh, then I called uh, the movie uh, Best Picture. I thought it was going to, actually, the last minute, I thought it was going to go to one of the other ones just because they like war pictures. But apparently they really liked this one better. And actually, Shape of Water is a better movie than the two war pictures. Dunkirk was nominated a lot, though. So. Finest Hours was nominated a lot. Uh, so they, they, they did well with their presentation. It wasn't too off, off the mark. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Oscar recap. There, there it is. Yes, the Sheshwin sauce thing was fake. It had to have been. And it wasn't even that good. So, yeah. Uh, they should have mentioned that. I think they did probably. Uh, there was a lot of mention of the Oscars about equal rights for the women actors and men actors, and they mentioned at one point that uh, that for equal pay, one actor might get millions of dollars for their for their reshot performance. Well, other well, a woman actor will get regular SAG wage, which is which sucks. It's like regular wage, really, for extras that that sucks like was that ten dollars an hour or something <laughs> oh it's probably more than that but, but uh but yeah it's like yeah that that sucks uh, why would they get that now yeah, pay the men and the women the same pay, pay for the movie especially with all those creeper producer guys out there yeah and and, and <laughs> yes the coco song was uplifting but sad and the uh, uplifting song from greatest showman was should have won best song but it didn't Look out, well, because here I come. No, the Coco one was better, I guess. Uh, Coco won for Best uh, Animated, so, yeah. Blade Runner surprisingly walked away with three Oscars. Hey, what? New Blade Runner movie. Yeah, I get, you gotta love your Blade Runner movies, I guess. Science fiction. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... And Mark Hamill appeared and cracked up the audience. Jodie Foster cracked up the audience. Uh, a bunch of other people. Uh, Lillian Mirren in the back. Um, yeah, so, so, yeah, it's, sure, uh, the supporting actor was that lady from that other movie, though, the Billboard one, I think? Anyway, so, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't call the actors really too much. Um, the, uh, yeah, uh, Lady Bird, I didn't see it, but uh, Lady Bird featured Sir Ice Ronan from, uh, years ago was in a bunch of earlier stuff, uh, like a Peter Jackson horror movie, <laughs> and then now she's like an Oscar contender. Uh, she looks like one of my niece's friends, but which is not relevant at all, except that, except that uh, often people are compared to actors, and in this case, the person that this is uh, uh, agrees that uh, at the time that yes, she was indeed looked like that actress, except her eyes are a different color. Um, so, yeah, one of the, one of the SAP people, uh, one of the SAP, uh, production people, uh, yeah, so, which is not a thing anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter, but neither did the Sheshwin sauce thing, or Matt Damon, uh, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, Oscar, Oscar thing, fine, except a little distracting, um, uh, yeah, they could, they could actually find some good movies that would help, um, the post was fine. Um, it was fine. It seemed like the Oscars this year were just fine. They weren't the best. They were just the best for the year. They were fine. 
Like when Crash got nominated. It's like, why did that movie get nominated? Just because there was nothing else. Why did Slumdog Millionaire get nominated? It was just a fine. Nobody wants that movie. Uh, you know, the Billboards movie is going to be one of those bargain $5 movies. Yeah, Christmas time. Come around Christmas time. It's going to be $5. No one's going to watch it. Uh, the Post is probably also going to be there when, next to it. Five bucks. Uh, it's not going to be. Yeah, it's Spielberg, but it's just mm. by the numbers. I understand that uh, Get Out is kind of by the numbers in some parts, too, and some of the acting is a little stilted. Probably because it's one of the, the K and Peel guys uh, to, trying to do horror. Um, which could work. At least it's not Medea. Um, uh, yeah, Oscar recap. So, yeah. So they did. This is... What's funny is the Oscar is the 90th Oscar, so I should point that out because, uh, because you know, 20 years ago I wanted to be at the 90th Oscars with my, my award-winning uh, movies. I say 20 years ago, what have been 1998? I wanted to win it for the for uh, something. I guess one of the Star Crackers, or <laughs> Planet Con or something. But I was like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, Dis Destiny's didn't uh, came out in 2008 and it didn't didn't. Tell. It's not Oscar worthy yet, but it's not an Oscar. But if I ever do win the Oscar, I'll have to thank everybody. Or a science fiction movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, Blade Runner 2049 is probably still going to be in December, probably like 20 bucks. It'll still be expensive to get that one. Um, also, Dunkirk will probably be down to 13. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Darkest Hours will still be was really trying desperately to get the Oscar and was nominated several times. And it kept saying winner already on its posters. Yeah. Um, so it was too pretentious and we didn't see it. Uh, but I understand Gary Oldman acted his, acted his heart out, so... Uh, it also didn't help that Kevin Spacey was in that, that Baby Driver movie and his career is gone. And also they gave a preview of House of Cards as the final season, which is like probably less than eight episodes long. And, um, they've apparently written him out. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, they also wrote him out of that movie, uh, the, All the Money in the World, as well, and replaced him with Christopher Plummer. <laughs> but, but, yeah, uh, so, yeah, we're Kevin Spacey. Uh, incidentally, the Hadon Robotech guy was not Kevin Spacey. That was, a, it was another guy. It was the guy from Age of Ultron. Or I was imitating the guy from Age of Ultron. Uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, James Spader is who I was imitating. I wasn't imitating Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey would be different. Uh, yeah, the, the spicy meatball guy. Of course, that's uh, that's supposed to be Brando, but he's actually he's more like Christopher Walken, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> then there's my Jeffrey Colbert imitation. Who played a, a guy, a robot, one of the robots. Yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> Oscar night. Say it again. Here it comes. Gonna take it.